Hey guys, it's Jen Coyle with HelloBrio.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw these letters using basic anatomy shapes that I showed in another video. So these letters are all based off of the ascender loop, which the ascender loop starts at the baseline, works its way up, and then back down. So I'll show you how to draw these letters. First, we need our guides. So we have our four guides, which we're only really going to be using three for this. But we have our X height, our baseline, our descender, and our ascender line. So let's start with the B. The B is a combination of the ascender loop and then moves on to a backwards loop here and goes all the way back up to the X line. You can draw the B in several different ways. So let me just assemble this one first. You have your ascender loop and then you have your B loop for that, but you can also do it in one swoop where you have your ascender loop that transitions it up and then back into the B. That kind of looks like an F, so let me try again. I have a rounder portion here, so like that kind of the B. So it's really up to you. The next letter is F, and I forgot to include that up here, but what F does is has an ascender loop that goes all the way down to the descender line, comes back up to the baseline, and then you pick up your pen and complete that stroke with a light upward stroke. So all together it looks like this. You can really think about the F as three pieces because you have your ascender loop which is like here and then you have that ascender loop continue all the way down like the backwards part of the Q and then transitions all the way back up. Next is the H. The H is similar to the B in that it starts with the ascender loop. And then you have a curve over under. So you start at the X height and have a nice curve over under. And you notice all the downstrokes are following that same angle that we have with our calligraphy guide underneath. So if we were to assemble this, we have our ascender loop followed by the curve over under. And if we do that all in the same color, it looks like this. Now you'll notice how I'm starting my curve over under at the baseline and not up here. So you want to make sure to have that same beautiful angle for each of those. Okay, let me draw my guides again. So we have our A center line, our X height, and baseline, and D center. So we're going to be doing the K next. The K is similar to the H and that you have your A center loop. And then you have, and then you have a choice whether you want to do something like this with a loop and then a curve over under, which is a much smaller curve over under, or you can do something where you have your ascender loop and then you have this kind of a line and then a curve over under like this. So it really is up to you how you want to draw your K all together. It looks like this. Next is the L. The L is pretty simple and then if you think about it, it's just your ascender loop that changes into a curve under in one fell swoop. So but you can think of it as two separate pieces if you want. You just don't lift up your pen between the two pieces. So again, start with your ascender loop, transition all the way down to a strong downward stroke and then back up. Now I included S and R in this series simply because the, they do have somewhat of an ascender loop. It's important to note that S and R come up higher than the X height. So here's your baseline and here's your X height. The loops come up higher but don't quite reach the ascender line. So if we're going to draw an S, it's, a one, it's one stroke. So you start light at the baseline, move up past the X height and bring down your stroke for your S. Again, here is your X height and here's your baseline. So for the S you want to do a light upward stroke and then transition into a heavier pressure and then back up into a lighter pressure. The R is similar in that you want to have a light upward stroke that goes up past the X height, loops back around, and then you pick up your pen and complete it with a curve under like so. So when you draw it together it looks like this. It 
For more information on brush lettering, make sure to check out my ebook, Getting Started with Brush Lettering, and that's linked below. Also, make sure to check out my other videos to see how other letters are assembled using basic strokes for brush calligraphy. Thanks for watching!